Yeah, sure. Bismillah. So, uh, one of my early trips after becoming Muslim was to Europe and ended up in, uh, in Spain, southern Spain, and didn't know really quite what to expect, but I was really quite amazed by what I was seeing in places like Alhambra, in, in Granada, in Seville, Cordoba, and where uh, basically where Muslims had been the, the you know, majority influence for hundreds of years, you know, something like 800 years. Mm-hmm. And I was just really quite mesmerized by the depth and scale of and the caliber of the artwork and design there, the architecture, calligraphy, tiling, mosaics, and, and really felt connected to that in, in a strange way because although I was quite new to the Muslim faith, I was really quite uh, amazed by all this beautiful artwork and design in front of me and, and wanted to see more of that and, uh, and felt like I need to travel and be more, you know, further exposed to more of this. Yeah, that's a good question. My favorite form. Well, I guess I have a... Uh, my, so what I do day to day is mostly more related to graphic design and, and things like branding design. So if you look at the Islamic influence into that, it could be any one of those things, calligraphy or tiling or geometry. Uh, but also really appreciate uh, uh, like street art and, and graffiti and you know what they're calling uh, calligraffiti, the kind of combination of Arabic and into street art. There's some really good uh, world-class artists doing great stuff there. So I love that. But then I also just, like many people, we just really appreciate going into an old mosque or an old uh, silk or somewhere and just seeing some ancient little detail or carving or something that just uh, just brings delight to the heart. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there were many, many subtle things as well as a few directly specific things obviously as I mentioned earlier like you know in southern Spain some of the things that I've seen there I think one thing I do remember that's that stuck with me a lot is in when I was in Fez I was doing some studying in uh, in Morocco and one of the places I went to was Marrakesh and I do remember being quite caught up in all of it and being really totally kind of entrenched by by this, all of this beautiful, like all the five senses are completely immersed in this amazing place and the food and the people and the s- sounds and the smells of spices and everything. And I remember it was time I heard the azan and you hear hundreds of the azans going and it's, it's wonderful. So I found my way, this, this guy took me to this little hole, like little corner in the, the silk and it's, you open the door and this wonderful big old mosque is there, hundreds of years old. It's just, totally captivating. I remember turning to him afterwards in, in his English and we understood. I said, oh, you have so much here. You know, in Australia, we don't have any of this. And I feel like, you know, you guys have it all. And he said, he said, he quoted the ayah that wherever you turn is the face of Allah. And I said, I just, that's, that's really struck with me that, you know, that's, that's so true that, uh, you know, you can take, take that feeling and your heart really can can uh, resonate in wherever you are in the world with, with the right mm-hmm. message and the right people. So, uh, yeah, I think that's that's struck with me. So although I might be sitting in some office in Australia, in Sydney, far, far away from the traditional Islamic world, I can draw a lot of inspiration from those places and travels and people. Yeah, so Baraka Life is actually a friend of mine. Uh, it's, it's her company, but I'm pretty active that she's in California. And that's uh, involved more in hand arts and creative uh, workshops, um, hands-on type projects. But what I've been more directly involved in founding and co-founding is creativity in the spiritual path. So that's been really amazing, uh, really a series of programs that we've run over the last few years. And we've had uh, growing interest in that in all places around the world now, alhamdulillah. And what that is, is basically giving creative Muslims a platform to meet and get together, share ideas, talk about their plans, projects, problems, uh, showcase one another's work. So by creative Muslims, I mean anyone who might be doing fashion design or art, calligraphy, graphic design, music, you know, author, playwright, filmmakers, so many things. So we've, we've been 
really uh, fortunate to showcase a, a real spectrum of, of Muslims from across these different creative disciplines. Uh, we've had them in, in Sydney, Melbourne, San Francisco, Toronto, and uh, we're going to try and have one in uh, Kuala Lumpur, hopefully in the next uh, 6 to 12 months, inshallah. Yeah, sure. And uh, yeah, it's, so if you check out spiritualcreative.com, it's a, uh, it's a really, uh, it's starting to happen, you know, people are really getting into it. So it's spiritualcreative.com is in one word? One word, yeah, spiritualcreative.com. And you'll see, if you click on past events, you'll see like a sort of mini directory of all different creatives that have spoken and what their sort of specialty is. And we try to have both a mix of uh, emerging talent, like you know people that have really hardly ever, you know, may not have spoken in public or they've been doing the work at a very grassroots level, mm-hmm. as well as quite well-recognized, high-profile pro- high uh artists or designers or whatever they might be and also some scholars we try to have some quite uh, world-class scholar at each event so mm-hmm. to help shape and guide the, the you know the dis- discussion and the direction yeah yeah our design is the, is our clothing label uh, so basically that was that's a collaboration with a US based fashion designer and uh, we actually just met at a, at a large event uh, a couple of years ago and uh, Sarah, my partner in California, was doing uh, doing beautiful clothes for women, more sort of, uh, I guess, traditional uh, Eastern-inspired clothing, you know, with some Indian influence or Asian influence, Oriental flavor, flair. And I had all these designs that I wanted to do. I had all these graphics for more, I guess, Western-influenced, uh, well, Western sort of style, but with an Islamic flair or an Arabic twist to them. I had all these designs that I wanted to get produced, but I never really found the right collaboration. So uh, I work with Sarah and we put this range together. So we have sort of longer, kind of more modest fit for women. We have men's stuff as well. And now kids more recently, hoodies. And basically the whole the whole idea is to, uh, is to just have a great looking clothing range that would be uh, something that uh, I think a lot of people are looking for, that it's an identity that reflects what what's what they're about rather than going to other mainstream clothing stores um, spending a lot of money and just you know buying stuff that may not reflect you know their own sort of backgrounds or interests yeah that's a good question uh, I think with the photography uh, I mean a lot of them are shot in color originally and I usually just you know just desaturate them uh, I've I like the idea of them being a set that you can take any part of them and, and they they're complementary. So, for example, some of the work might be uh, you know more like what you're shooting in the interior of a mosque or something that might be more bland, or another one might be very colorful. But by keeping them in black and white, there's this sort of uni- uniformity, and I've tried to sort of build them as a as a folio, as like a family. So. It's just, I guess, a signature approach to the to that, and then I keep the square format in all the work as well. So it's also nice. It was practical as well because, um, you know, in in our house originally, we might have bright coloured walls or something, but the black and whites always go. You know, you can always put them there. And then the colour, I I but I love beautiful, vibrant colours. You know, pinks and yellows and bright blues, and I bring try to bring that into my artwork or or design work, commercial work, or as much as I can. Yeah.